Good morning and welcome to St Andrews 2000. This round of golf is a big cock-up. Caddy drove me down to the senior tee, I grabbed my driver and walked 60 odd yards back. But I've gone back one tee box too far. I wouldn't normally play this course because it's a bit poor to be honest. Now every hole has got a problem you've got to solve. The designer went nuts. So on this hole the green is surrounded by mounds and rocks. So you have to be precise. The other thing is the greens are incredibly slow. They're a bit like winter greens back home where they're slow, bumpy and there's absolutely no way you're going to get a ball in the hole. This one's very narrow. I would normally be on that tee box further along and hitting a three wood. Ooh, Nick Noy, right. You know, I've got an inkling that something's wrong. The feature on this hole are the great big hollows and then a raised green. You really wow. can't afford to miss this green it's at all. Helps, and as typical with being on a camera, I do one or two gimmies. Now the strange thing with slow greens is downhill down grain is still fast. It's into the grain that gets difficult. Smooth and easy. This is normally a six iron for me. I got a four. That's a bad one. That's and even though I'm one. fairly certain I'm on the wrong tees, I'm not absolutely totally certain I'm on the wrong tees. Oh, not enough. A very narrow green no. drops off either side and very, very big drop off at the back. So that's the feature of this hole. When the greens are slow, they don't always turn as much as you think they should. Par six. Now you can't see much of the fairway, but there is plenty out there. I've just hit it in the wrong direction. And there is water down the right. And I yeah, found I it. In. It was just down there at the bottom of the bank. Managed to retrieve my ball. So at least I didn't lose it. Oh, that's a nice oh. top. Now I haven't been given a line here by my caddy. I can't see the water at the far end. But being a big hole, I assume I got the space. What the? That's water out there. Okay. In previous visits, I've played this hole three wood, three wood, three wood, and then a short chip and a putt. So with me having to take driver and then topping one, I was completely out of position. So my memory was completely gone. Yeah, you just can't get putts in. So a seven for a bogey. Right, a par three. Big waste bunker down the left and the water. And I'm having to hit putts much harder than I would like. Ooh, ooh, wow. And it just isn't going right. I'm just not getting decent lines from my caddy today. Well, that's good. I didn't mean to jump in front of you. Now I'd said to my caddy, we need to stop at the next drink stop. I said to her, where's the drink stop? She says, oh, it's two holes behind us. I said, well, why didn't you stop? We always stop. Yeah, I should have been on the tee box further forward. Because I can drive this green. By playing too far back, I couldn't. It's all adding up to rather a large number. 
at least these bunkers were quite firm. All I can see is the ball jumping offline with every shot. A split fairway wide on the left, narrow on the right, I'm going left. Or rather, I should have been going left. Still banana. At least now I've moved onto the proper tees. Five wood, I want to get up onto the higher level. Then I'm on the same level as the green. But I'm swinging like an idiot. Alright guys, I brought you here to St Andrews 2000 today because it's a par 74 by virtue of having two par 6s. Several cock-ups, one I wanted to go to the driving range and it was off you go to the first tee and it's like, well I've got 45 minutes yet. Second cock-up. I started out on the wrong tees. Completely forgotten what tees I played eight, nine years ago, 12 years ago, whatever it was. 12, I think. So I got the slices and I'm playing the wrong tees. Although I've just switched. Yeah, I got a litre of drink on the first. And I normally buy a litre at every drink stop. My caddy charged past the drink stop. So I'm now out of drink. This hole is a dogleg right. There's a big tree in the middle of the fairway. You either play short of it or past it. You certainly don't want to be behind it for your second shot. Where's that been? Good. I know what I've been doing. I bet I've been doing that instead of out there. Yep. That's Simon. Correct diagnosis, Simon. That's what you have been doing the entire tour. Just a wedge in. As you can see, right is dead. I know. I've been there the one time I did get stuck behind the big tree. When the greens are like this, the chances of you getting it yeah, online, get it it's staying online and like going in, many is considerably lower than the good courses. Same again, dog leg right, you cannot go right. I don't know what club I've hit here in the past. This is a fraction too long. This is how I should drive. No banana. I run out of space and onto the downslope. Just those two bunkers on the right really to contend with. That's right at target. And yeah, this is always worth doing when you're out on the course. Just have a look to see where you're aiming. <laughs> yeah, you just can't hit them hard enough to get them anywhere near the hole. It really isn't worth playing the cheap golf courses. It really isn't. Par 3 over water. Now there is a drink stop here somewhere. There's a drink stop on the 10th. I've asked the caddy to stop at the next drink stop because I am out of drink. A little bit up. In. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's just hilarious to watch. You just wouldn't get this at a good course. Let's go. So we get round to the 11th tee and I said, where's the drink stop? Oh, back there by the 10th tee. I asked you to stop. I did consider telling her, let's turn round and go back. Perhaps I'm just too damn polite. See, I really needed a break there. 
too hot. Well, you're not getting to the green out of okay, this stuff. This is that thick, leathery grass. The club just won't get through it. You just can't get on the back of the ball. You can only move it forward as best you can. Sat down in the thick stuff again. Just going to open the face and throw it up. That's not bad. In fact, it was damn good. It just spun there, it just hammered straight left. It's because it's so bumpy. I am deeply in trouble now. This is a three wood hole. I've got driver. The brain stopped working. I am completely cooked. And I've stopped sweating. Just a sand wedge out to get it back in play. And 66 up the hill. This green's got a huge step in it. It's up there somewhere. When the caddy tells me the line, I just can't Look believe down. it. I will tell you, it breaks to the right. A <laughs> <laughs> little bit down. Yeah. What a hot. One grip? Yeah. You sure? Okay. Looks to me like it turns off the planet. Yeah, it wanted to be up there. It wanted to be a, a flag. Okay. Just inside the light. It stayed there. Okay, next hole. This is the next par six. There's water all the way down the right. I've just broken three tee pegs because the ground is so hard. I couldn't get them in. But a good drive at last. Still got water down the right, sand down the left, three wood. Two good shots for a change. No time. That leaves 180 with a four iron. Got bunkers left and right, water right. Can we crack this par six? I birded the other one in the past. Can I get one here? Quite a tight hole this one. Just going to favour the left hand side and try and hit a fade. No fade. And from a drive to go to 70 I must have had some cart path action. So it's a hooky six iron under the tree. We've played these before. I couldn't buy one today. Well, we managed to get these caddies to stop at a drink stop. I'm in real trouble. I got a banging headache and I've stopped sweating, which means I'm dehydrated. Every time. Where's the drink stop? Oh, back there, one hole. Why the hell didn't you bloody stop there? Yeah, very dangerous. Banana. Banana. Come on. Come on. I think okay. 
that this fairway was a kind of like a tabletop with a steep drop off left and right. If you miss, you're not going to be happy. Well, it's on. Right, not far to go, thank goodness. Now you might think out here being soaked in sweat and digging your undies out the crack of your ass because you've been sat in a golf cart is a bad thing. The bad thing is when you stop sweating because that means you've got no liquid left inside you. And the drink stops here at St Andrews are off the beaten track. They're not right next to the cart path and they're hidden in trees and it's very easy to drive past them. So you say to the Kelly, how far to the next drink stop? Oh, one hole behind you. Oh, bloody hell, why didn't you stop? You've got to stop. Tell you what, these cheap Charlie Greens are like absolute dog shit to put over. And that's why we don't come to these courses. Oh well. Could be worse, I suppose. Yeah, I missed it anyway. Aye. I think if I'd gone. Yes. Now this bunker in the middle of the fairway I can get over with an absolutely max drive. So just for the camera I'm gonna have a go at it. And I'm left. It was long enough. Nice and easy. Chippy eight iron under the branch and up onto this green. It's just two tiers. It is very difficult if you get on the wrong tier. I know because I've been stood almost exactly there before. So I remember this. Oh, that's nice. I think I've had that one before. You know, I don't think either one of us has made a putt of any distance today. No, no, you, you don't stand a chance. Very narrow par three. Big steep bank in front of the green and then a huge step in the green. Flags on the front. I intend going past it and then using the slope to come back. And that's perfect. But you really don't want to miss this green. That'll do. It is far too difficult. As as it bump off line, it's every chance. Maybe a tad slower. A bit slower, yeah. A big pile of rocks in the middle of the fairway. I normally go for the narrow bit of fairway on the left between the rocks and the water. If you go up the right, oh, it just leaves you too difficult a second shot. I have a funny feeling oh, it's the same after a long I way. bounced amongst the rocks there. Because I'm a long way back, I normally have about 210 into this. Steep drop off to the left, you can't miss left. Oh, too much right. Well, you can't miss right either. A rattle amongst the trees. Yeah. The ball came down the bank. Yeah. Quite a steep bank there. It's not on camera. And it's back into the bunker. Got about 50 or 60 yards. Yeah, because I'm not a bloody professional golfer.